it seems that electric bike pumps are becoming a thing. And if I'm honest, I don't really get it. Why would you trust inflating your tires to something with a battery that could go flat? Still, someone is buying these, so the people at Fumper Pumps have sent me their whole range. And I'm gonna test it, and even if it doesn't work for me, it might work for you. I had asked Fumper to send me one pump, but they sent me three with accessories. Whatever I think about them, they'll either go back to the company or I'll offer to buy anything I like. I don't have to say nice things about them in this independent review. I want to try to work out what niche they're filling and test their performance. Although I have to say right at the start, I am very skeptical whether or not they will work for me. But then they might work for you and your lifestyle where you ride. We're all different. There are three in the range and a pressure gauge. The Nano Pump is the smallest and fits into a palm. The Mini is a bit bigger, a little too large for my road bike saddle pack. And I definitely wouldn't carry around the Thumper. I can't yet see why anyone would prefer it to a track pump. So let's test their performance. Before the pumps, Quick praise for the Fumper pressure gauge. Light, accurate, I have been most impressed with this thing. If I buy anything, it's probably gonna be that. Okay, let's start with the Nano. I expect it to be the most useful. It's lighter than a gas canister and inflator. I felt it would be just the thing to carry on a road ride. Incidentally, they all fit Schrader and Presto valves. The Nano runs for 50 seconds, and in that time, over several tests, it inflated my 25mm road tyre to about 45 psi. The reason for the 50 second runtime is in case it accidentally turns on, it doesn't drain the battery. The pump doesn't get warm, but it will run for at least three consecutive blasts. So that's what I did. Three blasts in three minutes, and it reached 91 PSI. That is good enough for this 25 mm road tire. 91. The makers say 110 PSI is the Nano's maximum pressure. Gravel tires run at a lower pressure, so let's see what the Nano will do with 45 mm 700C tires in those 50 seconds. If you're running tubeless and want a low pressure, the 24 PSI result might be fine. These are tubed and I'd want them at more like 35. So again, it would need another 50 second blast. Now I have seen some people compare electric pumps like this with mini stick pumps. I'm not gonna do that because this stick is going to be slower and a lot harder work. I would struggle to get a tire over 90 PSI with one of those. A CO2 cartridge would do the job and it would be faster, but you can't fly with these. There's an environmental downside to releasing CO2 and there's the matter of the single use metal cartridges. So yes, I'm surprisingly impressed with the Nano. I would put this in my jersey or seat pack before a ride, although, I would also probably carry a pump for backup. And if I was squeezing it into a seat pack, I might remove this nozzle to make it smaller, although I'd be careful not to get grit into that hole. You can screw extension tubes onto there, but I don't think I need that. So let's turn to the mini thumper, which as you can see, is quite a bit larger and heavier than the Nano. Again, it runs for 50 seconds, and this time, in one go, it pumps my tyre to more than 80 psi, what the Nano took three attempts to reach. 86, not bad. And there was more battery to go again. If it's lashing down with rain, this is the pump I'd want in my pocket. And I probably would have to carry it there, because I don't think this would fit in a normal road bike seat pack. Bike packing or gravel bags, Perhaps. At 185 grams, it's about the same as a gas inflator with two cartridges. And it is a chunky wee thing. I would carry this on long winter training rides when I did not want to hang about, and I expect group ride leaders would find this particularly useful. It is clearly a better pump than the Nano, but I would still carry a regular pump 
just in case. This is the Big Daddy, and the one I felt would be least useful, but it has changed my mind. I wouldn't ride with this, I feel it's a base camp tool with built-in battery indicator and pressure gauge. It easily took my 25mm tyre to 99 psi, which is enough for me, and it could have gone even higher, and it didn't use that much battery. If you're driving to a ride, you can put this in the car in case you accidentally lose tyre pressure or you've forgotten to pump up before you left home. There's limited space in most cars, and this would take up an awful lot less space than a track pump. If you're doing events where you have to rack your bike the day before, like an Ironman, then this would let you top up on race day and it's not too big to then stow in a bag. And there's more than cycling to consider. Some people have hand and shoulder issues, and for them, pumping can be difficult. I discussed this with a channel member who uses an off-road wheelchair, and he felt it could be really useful, especially since there are two types of extension hose, so you can use this more like a regular pump. There are quite a few areas where I can see this being useful. This is a great time to say a thank you to channel members who like my videos and have chosen to support me by joining this channel. You can click the join button under any video for details. And thank you again to members. Let's get to the conclusion. I have been surprised by how useful all three pumps have been. I'm not 100% convinced they fit my riding, but they may suit you. So here's my summary. If size is an issue, Nano is best. It will do the job albeit a little slower. The Mini is arguably the best pump in the range. If you don't mind the extra size, I could see this being popular with group ride leaders. The Fumper is a great bit of kit and will be a revelation for some people in some situations, particularly those who struggle to operate a regular track pump. But it doesn't replace a track pump for me. In fact, none of these replace a pump. I would always carry a pump for backup. My choices for the different types of ride are this Topic Mini, and this amazingly lightweight track pump with built-in pressure gauge. I think these can't be beaten by those. Links to most of the things I've mentioned are in the video description, and I'd like to know what you think about electric bike pumps. Let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye.